feel like my eyes look really bright, real snazzy, real cute. She's looking cute, you guys, and I'm jazzed. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. Today's gonna be a fun video. We are talking about the Allure Best of Beauty and by talking, I mean doing a full face. I did the full face, what do you think? Is it cute? Am I cute? Tell me. Let me know down below what you think of this look. Um, and also let me know down below, what do you think about the Allure Best of Beauty? Um, do you prefer the Allure Best of Beauty? Do you prefer the Allure Reader's Choice that comes out at the same time? So we talk, we actually talk about both of those today. And um, I would love to know your thoughts down below. Or are you just not really interested? You don't really care? I really like to see when it, what it comes out. When it comes out, I like to see what I agree with and what I don't agree with, like across all categories, because I try and test literally everything. Um, anything new that honestly launches in the conventional beauty world and the clean beauty world and everything in between. I try it all and I test it all out so I can let you know which are the best clean beauty products that come out and what measures up and what doesn't kind of vibe. You know what I mean? So I love to see and just see what I agree with and what I don't. And so I'd love to know your thoughts down below. And I kind of just want to jump in and let you see me apply this full face of Allure Best of Beauty. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this full face of Allure Best of Beauty Clean Beauty Edition. All right, you guys, Allure Best of Beauty. Let's get into it, I'm excited. So um, there are a couple things that weren't in necessarily in the clean beauty section that one um, that are from clean brands or are clean products. So I'm going to be mentioning all of the things that won across the board. I'm also gonna be putting on the screen what awards they won so you can kind of see. Um, I thought that would be really fun. So let's get into it. The first thing that I actually didn't have because it just launched is the Lawless Brow Wax. Um, I haven't been able to get my hands on it and by been able I haven't gotten my hands on it yet um and I was actually really surprised at one not because I don't think it would be an amazing brow wax just because there isn't a clear if I'm remembering correctly there are only two colors like brunette and like blonde or something like that so I was pretty surprised that a non a brow wax that didn't have like a clear option one um not that there's anything wrong with that but I feel like a lot of people like a clear brow wax or something that is more along the um just like doing like a soap brows or something like that. So then next, let's move on to complexion. So there were um, two foundations that one in the, one was in the clean beauty section, one was not. So um, the Kosas um, Revealer Foundation one, as well as the Westman Atelier, their foundation stick. So I have both of these here today. And I kind of figured that I would do the um, the Kosas foundation on and then do a little bit of mixy matchy, like do a little bit of both. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do a little pump of the Kosas foundation. I've reviewed both of these on my channel before, so I don't think any, I'm not gonna do too much chatting. I say that, but I can never stop yapping. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit on my face. Just looks so good and I'm gonna Buff it in with a beauty sponge, which I need to clean. I really like this um, foundation. It's very dewy. It gives a lot of luminescence to the skin. Um, and But in a way that it doesn't look like greasy. I don't know how to explain it, but it can definitely do up. And this is definitely one that if you have really oily skin or you notice throughout the day that you get really, really greasy. Um, maybe a little bit of setting powder or something like that. I don't necessarily like to use setting powder with this because I like the way that it makes my skin look. I like a really youthful complexion, you guys, and that really dewy look that this gives gives me a really youthful complexion. So I'm going to also use a little bit of the Westman Atelier foundation, which also won. Okay, so the next I'm gonna go on with a little bit of the Westman Atelier. I actually can't find my one that's the right shade. Um, I have one that's a little bit light, so I'm gonna do kind of like a highlighter thing in the middle of my face to kind of brighten up the center of my face a little bit. Um, my correct shade is the shade X, which I have. I don't know where I put it. I think I must have left it like somewhere when I was traveling, so I might have to repurchase it, which is a little bit annoying, but this is the shade IX, it's the shade below. And we're just gonna do a little bit of brightening, not it's not crazy um, wrong, but it's also, you know, it's not crazy accurate either. So that is what that is, and we're just gonna blend it in. 
Okay, so that is that with both foundations on. I really like how that looks. They're both, they're very different foundations. So let's kind of go into the differences here. Um, first of all, the Kosas foundation is a liquid foundation. This is a stick foundation. So there's that. The Kosas foundation has SPF. This one does not. Um, price is very different here. I believe the Westman Atelier is $68. And I believe this one... 42, something like that. Um, so there's definitely a varying difference there. Definitely Westman Atelier is definitely considered a little bit more of a luxe, like a luxe brand. Um, but let's get into kind of the finish differences and all of that. So you definitely get a little bit more coverage for how I like to apply the Westman Atelier. You get a little bit more coverage um, out of the Kosas one. With the Westman Atelier, I don't like to over apply it. So I kind of apply it to be more light to medium coverage and this one I apply and it kind of is a little bit more of a medium coverage on me. The di finish difference is very different here. This is definitely more of a dewy finish. This is definitely more of a natural finish, but this definitely can get dewy throughout the day. So I would say if you have oily skin, both of these might need powder, um, but it kind of depends too, right? Time of year, all of that can be a varying difference of how your foundation wears, but also your skin prep. So that's always something to take into consideration. Both of these are really, really good. Um, and I love a medium coverage. So it's kind of like my sweet spot is like light to medium coverage is my preference. So both of these are right in there. So the shade that I, uh, my normal shade in this, like my all over the face shade is the shade X. I can wear the shade IX all over my face, but it's a, it's a little bit light. Um, and I really have to go on with the bronzer to kind of make it look a little less crazy but both of these are really great i like them a lot okay so now let's move on to concealer i gotta stop yapping about that Ilia concealer so you know how much i love this i have two shades of the Ilia concealer this is the shade chai and i believe believe wasabi yes um so wasabi is my brightening shade and chai is my kind of natural every day not super brightening shade <laughs> under my eyes so i'm going to do a little bit of chai and then a touch of wasabi so let's get into it i really like this concealer um because it has more of a serum -y vibe to it but it doesn't get really slippy i don't know how to explain it it like settles down really settles down it dries down really nicely um and it gives nice medium coverage and again medium coverage especially for under eyes is my preference medium to full i have really really dark under eyes it's hard to tell in studio lights but i have dark under eyes so having something that is a little bit more medium to full is the ideal kind of consistency and finish and coverage and all of that for my concealer this also doesn't have like a sheen to it really when it sets up which is nice um i know a lot of people don't like concealers that are shiny i don't have a problem with that i actually love a concealer that's a little bit shinier under my eyes just because my complexion products that I like are really dewy, so it all meshes really well and looks really good. But, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for about a minute or two, because that's what I like to do with my concealers. Let them bake, let them sit there for a second, then blend them out, and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. Okay, so I let that sit for a little. We're gonna blend it out. I'm gonna move my mirror a little bit closer. We're just gonna blend it out. Okay, so that is chai blended out under my eyes. Again, it's not a super bright color, but it's a really good everyday, just very natural tone for me. I'm gonna go on with a little bit of wasabi, which is very, it's very bright for me. So with the brightening shade, I'm not gonna let it settle down. I'm just gonna um, blend it out. I'm really gonna focus on blending it out more towards the front and then pull, bringing product back. I'm not gonna like put too much down. And this layers really nicely, which is great. So you can really build it up and you don't have to feel like you're over applying because I feel like a lot of the time you over apply concealer, not you, me, um, or just people. And then it can end up looking a little funky. So I'm just gonna apply a touch more. Okay, so then that is the concealer on. I really like this. I feel like my eyes look really bright, real snazzy, real cute. She's looking cute, you guys, and I'm jazzed. Okay, so then next we're gonna move on to bronzer. And I have this bronzer here. So this is the Say Beauty Bronzer. And I have the shade Medium Bronzer. We're just gonna apply this all over the dang face. Look real cute. So um, I think this is what it looks like. I guess I'm gonna dip in with this brush here, but I'm gonna dip in lightly. I'm not gonna put the whole brush in because my face is really small, so I have a problem with sometimes bronzer brushes just like overtaking my face. And we're gonna apply really lightly um, at first. 
I really like this bronzer. The consistency is really nice. If you like the Chanel bronzer um, or you've been curious about the Chanel bronzer, this is a great one. Um, and it's really nice. The only thing is I do think they, the bronzer skew slightly warm. Um, so it kind of depends on your complexion. If you want something a little bit more neutral that's in a pan like this, the Rose Ink bronzer is really, really great. And um, so is the Tarte bronzer. They have some good neutral tones in there as well. And if you don't care about it being in a pan, the LYS Beauty Bronzers, you guys, don't even get me started. I'm shocked that those didn't win. They're so good. So that is that done. I'm really happy with that. It looks really bronzy. It gives a little bit of sh like sh not sheen. No, it, it is a little bit dewy, but it's not quite so intense. If you want something that is more dewy than this, then definitely go LYS Beauty. If you want something less dewy than this, then I would definitely go Rose Ink. The Rose Ink one is not as like dewy really at all. So that is that. My complexion's looking real cute, you guys. What do you think? Are you with, are you amped on the winners so far? Tell me what you think down below. Okay, so then next we have blush. So um, we have the Merit Beauty blush. This is the old container. The new container is gold, I believe. And I have the shade Beverly Hills. I've used this on camera a ton of times and I love it. Um, and so I'm gonna take a brush that's just like a little slanty hue guy and I'm gonna just apply it directly to my cheeks. I mean, it's so good. And these are good because you can layer them um, and they have a nice dew to them. So if you want a youthful complexion, this routine we're doing today, mm, she's for you. So that just kind of melts right into the skin. Um, and there wasn't a clean powder that one, but I do kind of want to powder a little bit down the middle, um, but I'm not, mm, yeah, let me do that before highlight. So I'm gonna just powder a little bit before we get into the red. There wasn't a clean powder that won, so I'm not going to, like there's no clean powder, but I'm going to be doing using the Amicole powder, which you know I love. And I'm just gonna set really lightly in the middle of my face with like a brush that's so like fluffy, so it's not like gonna overdo the um, amount of powder that we are applying. Cause I just wanna tone down the shine a bit. Um, before I go in with highlighter and all of that job. Get that stash area, cause no one wants a sweaty upper lip. And that just kind of tones it down really, really well, but it still looks like skin. Do you see what I'm saying? It's such a good powder. Okay, anyways, I digress. Let's move on to what's next. So next we have highlighter and this Milk Makeup Bionic Glow Highlighter one. Um, I have the shade Virtual. I believe the name is Virtual. I'm gonna link everything down below anyways with the names, um, but this is the highlighter. So foundation on the back of my hand. Um, and this is a really, really pretty highlight. Um, and it's not super warm. This is more of a neutrally pinky tone, but I really like it. So we're gonna apply a little bit of this highlight. It's really nice, just comes out. There's a lot of product in this. I feel like one of these will last you literally your entire lifetime. And we're just gonna tap it. Look at that, oh, so good the high point to the cheek and just up a little bit. That's my favorite place to apply highlighter. That and on my nose. I don't always apply highlighter on my nose, but when I apply it there, I'm like, mm. she's cute. Look how good that looks. It's just so pretty. Okay, we're gonna do a touch on the nose since I mentioned it. Okay, so that is highlight done. I would love to know what you think of the highlighter. Have you tried this? This is a nice highlighter. I do enjoy it. The only thing is, I find that sometimes, depending on the foundation, sometimes it can kind of, depending on how they gel together, and that's up with all products, sometimes I can find that with certain foundations, it can move the product a little bit, or the product that's underneath it, even some blushes, um, but I do really like this, and I just have to make sure I'm using the right combination of products, right? Okay, so then next, something I've talked about a lot on this channel, eyeliner. And one of my favorite eyeliners, the Colfi eyeliner. It's so freaking good, you guys. Don't even. So this is the Colfi eyeliner. This is the black one. And this is such a great eyeliner. It just glides on. It's super long lasting. Um, it's a little less long lasting than the Persona Cosmetics one on me, but it is great. I love this. And I've been grabbing this a ton this past month. So we are, I'm just gonna make sure that concealer everywhere and I'm going to apply this a little bit just on the outer edge just to make my lash line look a little bit thicker it 
it's so good. It lasts so long. And this one's great because you can also smudge it um, and it's not like a whole freaking thing. Sometimes smudging can be tough because if something is super long lasting, it sets up pretty quickly and then you're just like, girl. I was gonna do a little bit of a flick, but I'm kind of feeling this kind of more doe eyes vibe. So that's what we're gonna go with today. Um, and I really, really like that. So then next, I just wanna make sure I'm like mentioning everything. So then next we're actually gonna move on to mascara. So there were a bunch of mascaras that actually won. Um, the Calorie Beauty one, one, the um, Tower 28 one, one, and the Ilia Mascara one. The Ilia Mascara one, I believe in Reader's Choice. Yeah, the Ilia Mascara and the Ilia Concealer were both Reader's Choice winners in the Allure thing, because they have the Allure Best of Beauty, then they also have like Reader's Choice. I love Reader's Choice because it's great to see what people, like, you know, everyone is really, really loving. But the mascara we're gonna use today is the Ami Cole. I was so excited to see that this one, um, I love, I mean, you know, I love Ami Cole as a brand. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape, scrape off the excess of this because sometimes mascara can have too much product on the wand, at least on my lashes, and then it ends up going haywire. And we are going to apply this mascara. And I'm not gonna curl my lashes or anything like that. I considered it, but then I was like, nah. We want everything in all its glory, exactly how it's supposed to be. Okay, so this is one coat of that mascara on this eye. You can see the difference. All right, so that's one coat on both eyes. I'm gonna do another coat, a little bit on the bottom lashes too. Scraping off again, I re-dipped. I feel like everyone makes such a weird face when they apply mascara. I feel like I always look like I'm like straining or something when I'm applying mascara. Okay, so that is the mascara on. I just did lips because um, I actually don't have the lip product. So the lip product that um, one is the Aire Perez Lip Crayon. Um, I definitely wanna grab that. It looks really, really pretty. I also believe that's a newer product if I'm remembering correctly, but this is my full face of Allure Best of Beauty winners, kind of the clean beauty category and the clean beauty brands and products that won. Let me know what you think. Isn't this cute? What do you think? We're looking youthful. We're looking dewy. We're looking plump. We're looking cute. Let me know down below, um, have you used these products? What are your thoughts? Um, do you prefer the Allure Best of Beauty? Do you prefer Reader's Choice? Or do you really not pay attention at all? I would love to know down below. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.